Hello, I'm Frank Alaco, Executive Senior Associate, Athletic Director for External Relations, and welcome to Tuesday Testimonials. Each week, we will host a wide variety of members of our Don's family, from athletes, coaches, administrators, faculty members, and fans, who all share one common thread, a love for the University of San Francisco. Today, I'm proud to be here with an All-American and a legend, uh, Bill Cartwright. Bill, it's great to see you today. Frank, always great to see you, pal. Hey, Bill, I know we're all cooped up here at Holmes, and this is a little challenging for us to do this, but I appreciate you taking the time. And obviously, you're one of the great Dons of all time. And I want to start off with that question. What does being a Don mean to you? Well, I think the great thing is that about the University of San Francisco and being a Don is that we have such a great history. And I didn't really realize that um, until after uh, some time had passed because um, – especially with our basketball. We've always had a great tradition of winning. Everybody knows of uh, Bill Russell, Casey Jones. But even throughout the 60s, 70s, uh, we were always the, uh, the, the best team in our conference. So I was just really proud uh, to not only be a part of a great team, but part of a great basketball tradition. Hey, Bill, you know, I'm sure you have a lot of memories of the Hilltop. You know, you've been here in so many different capacities. But can you share a favorite memory or two uh, on the Hilltop? Well, my best memories are just being a part of the campus life. You know, I was really lucky because I spent all my time on campus where a lot of guys want to get off. I love to stay on. So uh, hanging out in the dorm room, uh, hanging out with my friends on campus, um, it just, it just uh, being a, a regular student, uh, it, was, it was a great time for me. Uh, I was from a small town, Elk Grove, California. I was really on my own. So I, I just love the experience of, uh, of campus life. You know, you really embraced it. And as I walk around campus, you see the signs that we have out on the poles and whatnot. And the motto of change the world from here. And I don't know of a guy who's better exemplified that uh, in, in, in your life. And how do you do it? I mean, how do you apply that into your everyday existence? Well, I, I think the big thing about going to school here is that, like I said, I'm from a small town. I, uh, I really learned about being... Uh, with a lot of people and being with a lot of people from different countries here at USF because I had never really been exposed to that. So all those possibilities, all those possibilities of, of doing extraordinarily well, all those possibilities of having my own business, all of those possibilities of maybe going to another country, uh, all those things and all those ideas were made here at, uh, at, at USF. So, um, USF just gives, uh, uh, gives you a great foundation uh, for those experiences when, and those possibilities when you're ready to get out of school. And, you know, Bill, with your wide variety of experiences, one consistent, you know, you've just been a winner in everything you've done from playing to coaching to running your businesses. And, and, but, you know, what impresses me is you've lived your life in line with our Jesuit mission, which I think made it such a natural fit for you to return to the hilltop. What brought you back to USF in your role as the director of university initiatives? Well, I, I think a big thing what I learned in my life is that, uh, you know, you have an opportunity to help others. You have an opportunity to uh, give people your experience. And, and coming back to USF, um, which, you know, which is definitely my home, um, I thought that I could give those possibilities and those experiences to our students here at USF. That's awesome, you know, and it's really thrilled to have you here. Uh, Bill, you know, on another note, you know, you were such a great part of the tradition of USF basketball. I mean, the glory days. I mean, I remember watching those teams when I first came out to California, and, you know, your teams won 80% of their games, two conference titles, three NCAA tournament bids. You know, you talked to us about why you came back. What made you come here? You know, you were one of the most storied players in, in history, you know, from a little school, like you mentioned, in Elk Grove, and uh, had a lot of options. What made you come to USF? Well, you know, USF, uh, one thing that didn't happen was here is that we didn't win a national championship. And we had great players, went for boys, James Hardy, Doug Jimison, Chubby Cox. We had NBA players, but we never really reached it. So that possibility is still here. 
And that's what we we want our students to know is that we were the number one team in the country with my sophomore year, and we could still be that again. So um, it's just the idea that you understand that we're as good, better, as any team in the country. It's just whatever your mindset is. So in coming back here, I wanted to be able to present that and say, hey, look, there's nobody better than us. Yeah. And, you know, and what I love about you, Bill, is your, you know, your desire to make us better goes well beyond athletics. You know, I watch you interact with students, with faculty members, and, and, and I know that your, your, your work here really does serve an incredible purpose. Well, the students here, they are, uh, they have a clear understanding that you not only strive for athletic excellence, but also academic excellence. And that is happening here uh, at school. I'm almost jealous when I see the students yeah, because I'm not sure I really understood uh, that I could be a 4.0 student here at, U at USF. And we have many 4.0 students here at school, and it's really impressive to see. Yeah. You know, Bill, you're a very humble guy, and uh, I'm going to mention it. You won't, but, you know, three-time WCC Player of the Year but and a lot of great successes. But is there a success story, you know, great or small, that you still fondly remember? You know, my success stories are always uh, when it's in situations where we probably shouldn't have won. And here at USF, we never lost to Santa Clara. Never lost one game to it when I was at school here. But there was one game where we were got 18 points uh, late in the second in the second half, and we were really rescued by a running jump shot from uh, from John Chevy Cox. So. That is probably our most gratifying win. Not only did we beat Santa Clara, which was our rival at the time, uh, but we beat them at a point of where they thought that the game was over and we fought, fought, scrapped back, and ended up beating them. You know, it's funny. You look back at those matchups. That was like a who's who of college basketball. There are some great players uh, on the court at that particular time. Can you? How about on the other end of the spectrum? You know, I think – all great people are spurred on by disappointment. You know, was there a great disappointment that you recall that you learned from and maybe propelled you to greater heights? Well, well the, the disappointments were always uh, when we lost to the NCAA. It's because we had such high hopes um, of winning. And that's the uh, good and bad about the expectations because our expectations here were so high to win. And the winning was going to be with the NCAA championship that never happened. So every year that didn't happen for whatever reason. We always had great years. We had great season. We fought as best we could, but we just couldn't get it done. You know, it's so funny. I talked to you a lot and you always kind of go back to that, you know, the, the goals that you had and, and your expectations. And obviously you had an amazing career, but you know, as an athlete, you challenge yourself to do more. So it's always struck a chord uh, with me. You know, Bill, you continue uh, to be an amazing role model to everyone here on campus. And that all starts with good modeling that you may have received. So were there players at USF that you particularly looked up to? Well, remember we were at a time where there were uh, great outcoming players. Phil Smith was here. Um, Probably my role model on the team at the time when uh, he was a senior, I was a freshman, was Howard Smith, uh, who was a, a 6'9 kid from, from, from Oakland. Uh, very tough kid, smart. And basically, uh, uh, I, I looked at him a lot. And he really uh, uh, just really allowed me and showed me the way on, on campus. It basically just came down to doing what everybody learned as a little kid. Just do the right thing. We're going to go to camp. We're going to go to class. Uh, practice, you're going to work really hard. You're a freshman. Keep your mouth shut. You're going to listen. And uh, everything's going to turn out fine. You know, Bill, you're a double don. You know, an undergraduate degree in sociology, master's degree in organizational development. Uh, speaking of staying on that theme of role models, uh, was there a key influencer in the campus community and the educational or community experience that kind of propelled you to go and get your master's degree and continue your education? That's something I always wanted to do. And one professor was at, uh, in the sociology department, Dr. Alan Calvin, 
Uh, spent a lot of year, years here at, at USF. He's about 90 years old right now. Uh, I called him up. He was still here at USF. And I said, hey, look, I want to be able to get my master's. And he just said, let's go. So uh, he really guided me through that process. Uh, just a wonderful man, wonderful professor, uh, great educator. Uh, so I, I really thank him for uh, for guiding me through that course. Your experience uh, here at USF, you know, spanned athletics, academics, community life. Uh, what are the most important skills that you learned at USF and that you use in your successful daily life? What USF gave me here and was the ability to think, to think out of myself, to think possibilities, to think that uh, maybe I should be doing more, not only uh, in, the, in the city, in the state, but maybe in a different country. So it just gave you the idea that there were other possibilities uh, that you hadn't considered. 